Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another Pilates practice or perhaps this is your first Pilates workout with me, so welcome. Hope you are well, hope you are having a fabulous week so far. So we'll go ahead and begin for this full body workout on all fours. So let's come on to a four point kneeling position, placing those wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and we'll begin moving at the spine. We inhale, prepare. And as you exhale, round the spine, look towards your belly button, and breathing in, lift your tailbone, lift your chest, look forwards or look up. And again, we exhale, round, exaggerate the movement, keep breathing normally if you're going slow. And inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your chest. Beautiful job, everyone. And beautiful job, everyone. We again round the spine, exhaling, really push the floor. And inhale, arch through your back body again beautiful job now let's come through to a neutral spine walk your hands out forwards in front so wrists are about three quarters away from the knees shift your shoulders over your wrists and then bend into those arms lower yourself down with control come to lie on the front of your body now roll your shoulders up back and down hover the hands hover the legs then press your palms lift back up into that three-quarter position and then come into your child's pose Let's now ripple the spine forwards, lower down, then lift the chest, hover the hands, the legs, squeeze the elbows back, press the palms, lift up, and back into the, your child's pose. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's do this three more times. We inhale, ripple the spine forwards, exhale, we lower down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we press up and back into our child's pose. Two more at your own pace as we use these movements to warm up our whole body. And beautiful job from your child's pose let's ripple the spine forwards one more time this time curl the toes lift the knees in your plank pose then exhale your hips all the way back and up downward facing dog let's have a little pedal through the feet through the heels bending one knee in at a time getting a nice stretch to the backs of the legs then hold still in your down dog ripple your spine forwards to a plank draw navel to spine hold three two and one carefully bring the knees down onto the mat untuck the toes and then cross your legs at the back sit back onto your sitting bones your hips and then bring your legs out in front then shuffle yourself towards the front of your mat so now you're at the top of your mat on your sitting bones with a three-quarter bend in your knees feet are hip distance apart bring your arms out forwards relax your shoulders nice long length through your spine bring your arms up to the ceiling then round back reaching your arms out forwards in front breathing in we come back up lift the arms and exhale we round back creating that C shape through your spine let's keep going four more times Think about contracting, engaging the abdominals as you lean back, find that squeeze, and then come back up. See if you can keep reaching those toes down towards the floor as well. Now let's hold this next one low, and let's scissor the arms. So move one arm towards the floor and the other arm up. We inhale and we exhale. Keep switching for four, three, two, and one, bring the arms forwards, inhale, come up, lengthen the legs, the arms reach up, exhale, we hinge and fold, push those heels away once you get here, let's stretch the backs of the legs again, hold for three, two, 
and one. Carefully bring yourself back up to a seat, shake your legs up. This time let's keep the legs extended long, squeeze your legs together, bring your arms out forwards in front. Breathe in, bring the arms up to the ceiling and exhale, we round back reaching the arms forwards. And again, nice inhale, we lift and exhale, we round back. Try to make sure that your heels are not pulling back with you. So dig your heels to the floor and use this movement to really find that squeeze through your abdominals. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's do two more. Breathing in to lift. Exhale, we round back. Keep squeezing the legs together. Get ready to hold this next one. So round back and hold. Then make fists with your hands. Press your knuckles in towards each other. Elbows are wide. We twist over to one side. Then twist over to the other side. We exhale to rotate. And exhale to rotate. Squeezing through the side. Reaching your elbow as far back as you can. Keep those legs squeezed for four. Three. Two and one come back through center bring your arms out forwards bring your arms higher up and we release a spine down onto the floor with control and reach your arms overhead take a full body stretch now bring your arms up to the ceiling hover your right leg we inhale prepare exhale curl up pull your right knee in inhale we extend everything back exhale we curl pull the knee Inhale, we extend back. And again. And let's do five more. Really drawing your ribs down to your hips, finding that squeeze each time. Option to hover your left leg and keep it hovering the whole entire time if you want to. And two more. Make sure that you're keeping those abdominals nice and tight. Hold this next one at the top and let's reach forwards for eight seven six five four three two and one rest your head then turn your head over to one side over to the other side come back through center and let's bring those arms up hover your left leg we exhale curl pull the left knee in inhale we come back through center we have seven more of these so each time you come up curl your chin over your chest squeeze and return everything option to hover your right leg this time if you want to and keep it hovering for these last few just two last one we hold and let's get ready to pulse for eight seven six five four three two and one rest everything shake those legs out you can turn your head over one way or the other way releasing any tension in your neck then come back through center let's bend the knees in lift your legs up to a tabletop position imprinting your spine Bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. Curl your head, neck and shoulders away from the floor, we hold. Then on your exhale, twist over to your right. Inhale, hold through the middle. Exhale, twist over to your left. Let's do four more and then we will add on to this movement. Keeping those shoulders far away from the floor. And the next time that you twist over to the right, reach your legs. Then hold through center, bend the knees. Twist to your left, reach your legs. Hold through center, bend your knees. Four more, squeezing the legs as you extend them. Really nice, we have just two more. And one more. This last one and let's twist as we scissor the legs. So you scissor and you scissor as you twist over to the leg. Just two more. And rest everything really well done. Hug those knees into the chest and then bring your feet down onto the mat. Let's hug the right knee in towards the chest. 
We inhale, exhale, lengthen your leg up to the ceiling, holding anywhere to the back of your leg. We breathe in, bend the knee back. Exhale, lengthen your leg up. Now extend your left leg and let's do this two more times. Your leg extended now and let's push up through the heel then point the toes up to the ceiling. We exhale, push up through the heel again. Inhale, point the toes. Now release your hands, bring your legs straight up and let's perform our leg circle. We inhale, open the leg out to the side, down, exhale, come back up. Four more times. Making sure your hips stay nice and square to the ceiling. We inhale to open and exhale to come back up. One more in this direction. And now let's reverse it. Bring your legs straight down, open it out to the side and circle it back up to center. Four more. And this next one will be our last one. So bring your leg back up, hold, then bring both your hands behind your leg, curl your head, neck and shoulders off the floor as you hover your left leg. And now let's switch the legs and let's switch the legs. Inhale, we switch, exhale to pull. Let's keep alternating, just four more. And three, last two. Hug your left knee into it to your chest, rest your head. Bend your right knee, place your foot flat on the floor. Breathing in, pull your left knee. Exhale, lengthen your leg up, hold anywhere to the back of your leg. We breathe in, bend the knee back, and we exhale, lengthen the leg up. Extend your right leg long along the mat, and bend the knee back. Exhale, lengthen your leg back up. One more time, and we'll hold this next one at the top. On your exhale, push the heel up. On your inhale, point your toes up. Three more times, let's go slow. your toes back up then bring your leg up bringing your arms down by your sides let's perform our leg circle open your leg out to the side then come back up through center breathing in open the leg exhale to return we have three more and last one keep that leg squeezed keep the hip still now let's reverse it bring your leg straight down then open your leg out to the side to come back up. Four more in this direction. Let's inhale to lower the leg this time and exhale to come back. And this next one will be our last one. Hold your leg extended, bring both your hands behind your leg, then curl your head, neck and shoulders away from the floor. This time, pull your leg in nice and close, then bring your leg away from you, climb up the leg, come up to seated. Then rest your leg down as you take a forward fold over the legs. Now let's bring the left leg back in the hands, so same side, lift back up. Pull your leg in nice and close, exhale, then release the leg. And let's take it all the way back down onto the mat with control. Now switch your legs out and let's repeat this with the right leg. Curl your head, neck and shoulders away from the mat. Then climb up the leg as you lift yourself up with control. Release your leg at the top, forward fold. Then bring your right leg back in your hands as you lift up. Exhale to pull the leg in. Inhale, release and carefully lay yourself 
back down onto the mat, bringing your right leg in with you. Let's switch the legs and let's repeat with the left leg. Inhale, we nod and curl. Come up. Exhale, reach over the legs and fold. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, pull the leg in for your stretch. Then inhale, release. Exhale, lay yourself all the way back down again. Pulling your leg in. Switch the legs and let's repeat again with the right leg. Nice and slow with control. And this time, as you come to lie on your back again, we'll stay here and keep the leg pulled in. Beautiful job. Bring your left leg to meet your right. Then bring both your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers and curl up. Heels together, toes apart. Let's lower the legs down and bring the legs back up. So squeeze your legs, point your toes back towards you. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift back up, keeping your abdominals nice and tight all the way. And one more. Bring your legs back up. Now point your toes away and we repeat. Lower the legs down and lift the legs back up. Exhale, lower the legs. Inhale, lift the legs. Let's do two more of these with control. You are so strong. And rest everything. Beautiful job. Hug your knees in, rest your head. Then bring your legs over to the right and come to look over to your left. So let's take a nice little twist here to feel a release through the spine. And then go the other way, bringing your legs over to your left as you come to look over to your right. Beautiful job, everyone. Come back in through center, hug and hold the knees. And now let's prepare to come onto our side. So we'll begin on our right side first. Come up onto your forearms with your elbow underneath your shoulder. Have your legs extended long, have your legs stacked, and let's bring the shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles in one line. Create a slight tuck of your tailbone to draw navel to spine, ribs in and down towards your hips. And then hover your left leg off the floor. So bring your leg up. Let's bend the knee in towards the chest, then kick it in front and sweep it back. We inhale, bend the knee and kick. Exhale, we sweep it back. So we're just moving into our bicycles. We have five in each direction. Let's do two more going this way. And last one. Now let's reverse it. So kick your leg forwards, bend the knee in and extend it back. We inhale to kick, exhale bend and extend it back. Let's do three more going in this direction. last one now hold your leg extended and bring your left arm across your ear rotate your chest towards the floor on your inhale kick your leg forwards sweep your arm back look back exhale kick your leg back and sweep your arm forwards rotating chest to floor let's repeat we inhale kick forwards exhale sweep the leg back as you rotate the chest up and rotate the chest towards the floor beautiful job lots of control through the movement and we have three more of these And the next time you rotate your chest forwards, let's stay here, then rotate back through center. Bring your fingers by your temples, leg long, then pull the knee in towards your elbow and shoot the leg out away. So we inhale, bend the knee in, exhale to shoot the leg and squeeze. Squeezing through the side of your waist as you bend the knee and squeezing the leg as you kick it away again. And just three, Two, last one. Extend your leg back and hold. Bring your left hand, your fingertips in front for support. Flex your foot, bend your heel to your hip and lift. Then point your toes, extend the leg and lift. Let's repeat that. So flex your foot, bend the knee, lift up, down. 
point your toes, extend the leg back, lift up and back down. We inhale, bend, exhale, lift. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift. Let's do two more, you are doing really well. And this time, let's flex the foot, bend the knee, stay here, and let's pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point your toes, extend that leg, and let's pulse it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, bring your hand over to your foot, your ankle, press your heel towards your hip, feeling a nice stretch for the front of the leg. And then release your leg out long, and let's settle into our mermaid stretch, bringing your right arm up and over, stretching through the side. And release the arm, let's take it straight over to the other side. So let's come on to our left forearm with your elbow underneath your shoulder. Extend the legs out long with your legs stacked, keeping shoulder, hip, knees and ankles in one line. Slight tuck of your tailbone, drawing navel to spine, ribs in and down towards your hips. Let's lift the right leg up this time and let's begin with our bicycles. So bend the knee in towards your chest, kick it forwards, then sweep your leg back. Inhale, we bend, exhale, extend and sweep it back. Three more in this direction. And last one. Hold your leg extended back and now reverse it. Kick it forwards, bend the knee in and extend your leg back. Four more. We inhale the leg forwards, exhale bend and extend it back. Two more. Last one. Now hold your leg extended and sweep your right arm across your ear, reach into the fingertips. Rotate your chest towards the floor. Now kick your leg forwards, sweep your arm back, look back. Exhale, kick your leg back, sweep your arm back forwards. Inhale, we kick, rotate the chest up. Exhale, we sweep back, rotate chest to floor. And we have six more of these. Keep moving with control, pairing movement with breath. Next time you rotate your chest to floor, come back through center, bring your fingers by your temples, keep your leg extended. We pull the knee in, we extend the leg away. Inhale, pull the knee, exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, we squeeze to the side of the waist, exhale, we squeeze the leg. And four more. Three. Two more. Last one, hold your leg extended, bring your right hand to the floor for support, then flex your foot, bend the knee, lift and lower down. Point your toes, extend the leg, lift and lower down. Inhale, bend, exhale, lift and lower. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift and lower down. And let's do five more of these. Keep breathing, we can do it. And let's bend the knee back one more time. This time stay here and let's take those pulses up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your leg and let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, bring your heel to your hip. Let's hold for our stretch. 
then release your hand off and come up to your mermaid seat let's bring the left arm up and over taking a really nice feel good stretch through the side beautiful job everyone let's release out of the stretch and come on to our hands and our knees now bring wrists underneath shoulders knees underneath your hips now extend your right leg and curl your toes under let's hug navel to spine now push the floor hug your left knee in crunch then release your left knee down lift your right leg up take one press up let's repeat curl the toes lift your left knee crunch release your left leg lift the right leg take one more press up inhale pull your left knee exhale lift your right leg inhale bend into the arms exhale lift back up let's repeat inhale pull exhale lift inhale bend exhale lift let's do four more And this will be our last one so take your press up then come back up and hold and come down onto your left forearm let's extend the right leg at a diagonal then sweep your leg over to the right tap the floor then sweep your leg back up and tap behind your left leg so we're making big rainbows with the leg we inhale to tap the leg exhale to lift Inhale, tap again to the other side. And we have two more. See if you can kick your leg a little bit higher. Make your rainbow a little bit bigger. Hold your leg extended at a diagonal and let's take tiny little circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse the direction opposite way. Eight, seven, six, five four three two and one now extend your leg back and let's take tiny little pulses up for eight seven six five four three two and one really nice bend your knee bring it in rest your leg and let's sit back towards the hips come down onto both your forearms and let's roll around at the wrists a little bit don't mind me wiping off some sweat let's go ahead and reset and begin on the other side so up onto your hands extend your left leg and curl your toes now pull your right knee in then rest your leg lift your left leg up take one press up then rest your left leg back down we inhale pull the knee exhale lift your left leg inhale bend the arms exhale press yourself back up let's do this six more times On this last press up stay bring your right forearm down and let's bring the left leg higher sweep over to the left tap your toes then sweep the leg over to the right and tap your toes behind your right leg making those big rainbows as you keep sweeping the leg we inhale to tap exhale lift inhale to tap and exhale lift And this next one will be our last one so tap to the right then lift your leg hold your leg at a diagonal to your body and let's make our tiny little circles for eight seven six five four three two and reverse the direction now so we go the opposite way for eight seven six five four 
three, two, and one. Now extend your leg back one more time and let's lift up tiny little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Come up onto your hands, bring your left knee in, take a little moment, take a little breather. We are now going to set up for our press ups. So wrists are three quarters away from the knees. We bend into the arms, we press ourselves up, hug navel to spine. We have six more, so let's do eight in total. You can go at your own pace for these. Make sure you're contracting your arms at the top. Lots of arm work today beautiful job when you have finished rest your hips back down to your heels coming into your child's pose bring your palms together then lift your hands away from the floor thumbs to the back of your neck your head taking your stretch option to bring your knees out wider apart if you prefer walk your elbows forward and send your hips back and down again beautiful job release the hands Come up onto your hands and your knees one more time and let's lower ourselves down onto the front of our body. Let's extend the arms long out in front, legs long at the back. Now lift your right arm, your left leg, then bend the knee, reach the arm back, tap the foot, extend and come back down. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend and reach. Inhale, extend, exhale, come back down keep alternating sides so if you're not able to tap the floor that's okay keep reaching the fingers back the shoulder back and keep reaching the toes up the knee up and this time let's lift right arm left leg reach back stay or if you can grab your foot your ankle then lift yourself away from the floor using your left hand your right leg for support find that beautiful extension of the spine lift through the leg and that opening through your right shoulder then release everything come back down other side lift your left arm your right leg then reach back as you bend your right knee grabbing onto the foot if you have it lift through the chest using your right hand your left leg for support then release everything and come back down. Let's do that again. We lift, we reach, hold, lengthen, lift the spine, open through the chest, option to lift your left arm and your right leg up this time, then bring everything back down one step at a time. Other side, we lift, we bend and reach back. Grabbing onto your foot if you have it, let's lift the chest, lift the knee, lift your opposite arm and leg, reaching up, lifting through the chest, then release everything back down again, wiggle the hips, let's take a stretch on our front, open your arms out to a T and turn to look over to your left, bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder, bend your left knee, then roll over onto your right shoulder as you place your foot behind. Feeling a nice stretch for your right shoulder. Feel free to bring your left arm up if you want more. Maybe bringing your hand over to your foot, pressing your heel towards your hip. Feeling a nice stretch through the front of the leg and your hip as well. Then let's carefully return the arm back open to a T and come back to lie on your front. Now turn to your right hand, right hand underneath your right shoulder. Bend your right knee, then place your right foot behind the left leg as you roll on to your left shoulder. Option to bring your arm up or bring your hand to foot, bringing heel towards your hip. Nice deep breaths in and out. Really well done. Let's go ahead and release out of our stretch one step at a time, coming back onto your front. Then press your palms underneath your shoulders and let's lift up into a cobra and press yourself into a downward facing dog. So curl the toes, send your hips up high, have a little pedal through the feet, through the heels. If you haven't guessed it already, we are going to take some really lovely full body stretches next as we have finished our workout. So congratulations. Let's lift the right leg up to a three-legged dog, then bend the knee, heel to hip, lifting your right knee, opening to your right. 
Then bend the knee in towards your chest, stepping your right foot in between your hands. Bring your left knee down onto the mat. Let's settle into our low lunge position, placing your hands on your right leg and lifting away from the leg, feeling a sense of length through your chest. Left arm up to the ceiling, we inhale, exhale to reach over to your right. Come back in through center, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, then reach your arms down, lifting through the chest as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, looking up if that's comfortable for you. Then carefully come back in through center, straighten your right leg, we hinge, fold, digging your right heel to the mat, feel a beautiful stretch through the back of your right leg. Bend back into your right knee, press your palms. Let's come back into our downward facing dog. Other side, lift your left leg up to a three-legged dog. Then bend the knee, heel to hip, lift your knee up as you open to your left. Then come back through center, pull the knee in towards your chest and step your left foot in between your hands. Right knee comes down, let's settle into a low lunge position, placing the hands on the left leg, lifting the chest away from the floor, sinking through your hips. Then bring your right arm up, inhale to reach, exhale, lean over to your left. Come back up through center, then bring your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers opposite of your first side, then reach your arms down, lift your chest up, sink through your hips, squeeze the backs of your shoulders together. Come back through center, straighten your left leg, then fold, digging your heel into the mat as you find your stretch back of your left leg. Carefully bend back into your left knee, press your palms, and let's step back into our downward facing dog one more time. Have a pedal through the feet, through the heels. Then take your feet out wider than hip distance, bringing your feet a little bit closer to your hands. Right hand catches left wrist, look underneath your left armpit for your twist. Reset. Left hand catches right wrist, look underneath your right armpit. And come back through center one more time, bring your feet closer together and bring your knees down onto the floor. Untuck the toes, sit back towards the heels with your hips and come up to a seated position, keeping your chin tucked in. Let's sweep over to the left and sweep back in through center over to the right, releasing any tension in your neck. Come back in through center and carefully lift your head back up. Thank you so much everyone for practicing with me today, for sharing this time with me and your practice with me. I really hope you did enjoy it. And as always, if you did, uh, please remember to like this video as it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this video with somebody you know who might enjoy it just as much as you did. Thank you so much again, sending you all my love. And I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.